So this really starts your week right now, because right now you're going to start learning how to cook. And the purpose of this presentation is so you learn the basics of nutritarian cooking so we can get more advanced as the week progresses. Basic recipes that I've used for 20 years or 30 years that we use every single day that you really have to learn. And some of you are experienced and some of you are new and I want to just go over some of these basic recipes and show you how they've evolved over the years too. So let's get started with the, some general guidelines. Of course, we want to you know about how we're trying to devise the plan, the business plan for your life, right? The business, so you, what to include in your diet. You want to eat vegetable, a lot of raw vegetables, and we want one of the basic mantras I always tell people is you want to eat a salad every day. A salad at least once a day as a main dish. That means a big salad is a main dish. And a pound of raw vegetables seems like a lot of vegetables, but you know what? Over the years, when you add up the carrot and the tomato and the lettuce and the cucumber, or half a pepper or whatever I'm putting in there, it adds up to almost, always adds up to a pound, which I'm adding up. Because a tomato itself can be half a pound sometimes. It seems overwhelming to eat a pound of raw vegetables, but people love to have guidelines. How much should I eat? You know, and, and I don't care if you really go a pound less or a pound more. You don't have to think of this as something rigid. It just gives people who want to have a guideline, the, it gives them the encouragement to know that I want them to try to make their salad as large as possible. It is mu it's much raw vegetables. Those are the things you try to actually eat more of, not less of. That's what that means. And then the cooked vegetables, you also eat a large volume of those every day, especially the greens, the eggplant, the mushrooms, the cooked onions. They're very low in calories. A pound of these cooked vegetables are only about 100 calories if they're the low carbohydrate vegetables, especially, so it's not a lot. I, and I came to that figure very scientifically. Because my daughter, Carol, when she was four years old, was taking a 10 ounce box of frozen broccoli to, ba to nursery school with her. And I figured that if a four year old could eat 10 ounces of frozen broccoli, why can't an adult eat a pound of vegetables? <laughs> right? And then about a cup of beans every day. But it doesn't have to be a full cup, it could be half a cup, but make sure you eat beans every day. And you're not, you may not starting with a half a cup of beans, you may start with a, a couple of tablespoons of beans a day to digest them better. But don't have a day without beans, because we want you to build up those good bacteria. Have some beans in your diet every day. And over time, you'll see a couple, you know, eating a, I don't measure it out, I don't eat a cup of beans every day, but I certainly have some beans in something I'm eating every day. You know, I very often have beans on my salad or a soup with beans in it or beans in a chili or some kind of bean serving, you know, and then I certainly have somewhere between one to four ounces of nuts and seeds every day. It doesn't have to be precise because I'm eating by my instinctual appetite driver. I'm not overeating. I finished dinner early enough so I go to, so I go to bed on an empty stomach and some nights I even start to feel hunger at like 11, 10 or 30 at night before I go to bed. I try to make a mistake. When I make a mistake, err on the side of under-eating a little. Don't err on the side of overeating. Somebody asked me, you know, what about eating too many calories from nuts? And I'm saying, yeah, of course. This is all about not exceeding your caloric requirements. You can eat as much nuts as you want, but then under-eat calories for the day. If you're taking in 200 calories from nuts or 400 calories from nuts, that all could be okay as long as you didn't take, and if you kept your level of calories under 1,000 for the day with the 400 calories of nuts, I'm okay with it. Just don't add 400 calories of nuts in addition to the other, you know what I'm saying? Your caloric needs may be 1,000 a day, and mine may need 3,000 calories a day. That doesn't, that, that's an individual thing. But I'm saying, if you have more of one food, take out some other food. In other words, for you, whatever you need, err on the side of eating a little less than you think. Make sure you eat a little less, and you know how you're, if you're, you know you're overeating if you're not hungry for the next meal. If I'm really getting hungry for my meals, and I'm even a little hungry before bed at night, I know I slightly underate for the day. If you're never hungry, you're overeating. You're not eating healthfully if you're never hungry. You're supposed to get hungry. It's a signal your body requires calories. So figure out a plan for you. Figure out a plan, like I don't want to cook every night. I want to have my food prepared already so I can go exercise or go have fun or go do something I want to do, right? So batch cook. In other words, a good idea for a lot of people have succeeded making big pots of soup on the weekend and you take that big pot of soup 
and you eat that Sunday night, you made it, and you put it in the refrigerator, on the top shelf of the refrigerator, you clear out the shelf, and you put that whole hot pot of soup in the refrigerator, so the next morning, on Monday morning, you can pull the pot out cold, and you can aliquot it out into 10 different containers, so you have your lunches made for the whole week, because your lunch may be the vegetable bean soup with a salad and with a fresh dressing that you made on Sunday nights for the first three days of the week, and then on Wednesday night you made a new dressing, and you have a new dressing for the rest of the week. You know, but you have that soup for the whole week, and the next week you make a different type of soup. So this, when you're here at a getaway, the food is very different because you're having a different foods every meal, but in the real world at home, you're going to make one recipe you like and probably eat it for two or three days, and then make another recipe you like and eat that for two or three days. You're not going to be making all these different... You're not going to have a, a dinner with four vegetable options. You're going to have one cooked vegetable option with the dinner, right? It's going to be simplified. That's why here it's easy to overeat because there's so many different choices of things to try, and that's why here you're picking much smaller portions. I had a little bit of this pork foot and a little bit of that because my cooked vegetable, because you don't want to, because there's a lot more choices of cooked things you can eat here. So you want to leave time to exercise, you want to leave time to shop, and you probably need two excursions to the supermarket or two excursions to, to eat each week. 